year two and eight second year two and eight last year four and six and this year playoff time he doubled he had eight wins in three seasons he matched that this season well the crusaders we mentioned at eight and two starting off eight and oh in the regular season before falling to weird madonna who just completed their 10 and 0 season in west virginia last night and also magnolia who uh won last night, so they are 6-4 and four and making it into the playoffs, so the Crusader loss has come to West Virginia playoff team, so uh, get an opportunity now here as the Catholic Central will get the football. They'll be moving right to left on your radio dial, and here's a big fella getting set to kick it away for Racine Southern. I'm assuming that the Crusaders won the toss, and they want to get out there, and they want to break this scoring drought that they've had for the last Six quarters. Ryan Billingsley will kick it off for the Tornadoes. 5'10", 255-pound fullback. He's a junior. Back deep for the Crusaders. Ryan Fletcher will be in the middle, flanked on the near side by Khalil Jones. And on the far side for Steubenville Central is number 32, Robbie Lefevre. So playoff action about to begin right here on Froggy 103. Beautiful night for football. Decent crowd on hand, Racine. Uh, <laughs> What, two and a half hour plus drive? Yeah, it's a long way down in Meigs County, down near Athens area. And if you look, I mean, there's other games going on around the Ohio Valley where some of those fans might have come to this game and, and vice versa. But we've got a lot of people in the area playing tonight. As Billingsley approaches, we are underway. High, short kick. It'll be taken by Fletcher on the run at the 20-yard line, 25, and he's grabbed and taken down at the 30-yard line. And the field tackle made by Paul Ransom, a junior 5'10", 156. Good field coverage. Nice job, though, by Fletcher, not allowing that ball to bounce. Who knows what will happen? First down and 10 for the Crusaders. They'll start their 30-yard line near the middle of the field. And the offense comes out for the first time. Wide receivers Alex Perica, number 7, Johnny DeCarn Antonio, number 33, and Ryan Fletcher, number 22. They'll flank twins right, receiver left. And they're waiting. Are they waiting? Waiting for the band to go into the stands? Why would that uh, I saw them point down that way? Eleven fifty four on the time clock. Eleven fifty four on the time clock is what they're asking for. I was gonna say it took thirty one seconds for a ten yard return. Yeah, he's awful slow. He was awful <laughs> slow on that return. <laughs> Stone Romano in the backfield is Brenton Colabella from the shotgun with Farika near side. Twins over to the right. Four-man front for the Tornadoes on first down. Colabella rolls right. Looking, stepping up, in trouble, tries to get away. He's hit by one, hit by a second. Gets away. Third and fourth guys finally corral him and pull him down for a loss of about one or two in the backfield. Nice coverage in the defensive backfield. And that's definitely a coverage sack. Colabella looked like he could have lost even more. But almost got back to the line of scrimmage. Dropped the deuce on the play. Second down to 12 at the 28-yard line. So Romano checks out the lineup. And the Crusaders will go single-wise on both sides. Potenzini comes in motion now. And the Crusaders jump on the right side of the offensive line. So not a good start. A two-yard loss and then a five-yard penalty. Absolutely. It's too late in the season to be making... Well, I never to airs like that. Yeah, I never understand. Usually, that's the last thing you say when you come out of the huddle. We're going on three or whatever it would be, and then he just they just jump right on the right side. So four man it. front by Southern with three linebackers makes it second down and seventeen as Potenzini will go in motion near side, and Colabella will pitch left side looking for Khalil Jones. He's trying to get him out, and he's tackled, and he's all the way down back at the twenty three yard line for no gain as Khalil Jones tried to hurdle somebody but couldn't come up with it. Wow. Ryan Billingsley messed that play up for Catholic Central because he was in the backfield from his defensive end position 
and Jones wanted to go outside, but he couldn't, so he cut it back, and that's where the pursuit nailed him. 66, Brandon Grusin checks out of the ballgame as they bring another defensive back in for Racine Southern on third down and 17 for the Crusaders from their own 23-yard line. And they jumped again, and the same guy jumped over on the far side. And that'll be another five-yard penalty. We'll take it back to the 18-yard line. So here we are in week 11, and we got two false starts in the first series. Well, just absolutely not the way you want to start a football game. Thanks. Third down and 22 now for Catholic Central. Back at their 18, they need to get all the way out to the 40-yard line. And a man will go in motion. That's Fallon. And Colomelo back to throw. Looking, looking in trouble. Rolling left. He's going to have to tuck it. He's going to be hit. And he's going to be dropped. That man Billingsley over there again. So Southern's defense, the Tornadoes, hold as Colabella might have got back to the line of scrimmage at the 18-yard line. And Catholic Central will have to punt on his first possession. Penetration for the second. Actually, the third time. And Catholic Central, whew, three and out with two penalties and a couple of losses. And... Southern, I can see why they got five shutouts in the season, Jack. Yeah. They've been aggressive defensively. Colabella will punt the football away. Back deep is number 700, Johnson. Good snap. Colabella with time. Let's apply line drive spinner. Johnson, that's it. It's the 50-yard line. He decides wisely to get away from it as it'll be stopped at around the 45, maybe the 46-yard line. So the Tornadoes will have it first down. They'll begin at the 10-minute mark, and they'll spot it at the 40. Especially when you're a running team, uh, Jax, you want to have uh, decent field position. You're not going to be throwing the football. they got a pretty strong, tough-looking offensive line. Well, they're going to go to Wildcat because their quarterback, Kristen Wolf, is over here as a whiteout. So on first down, trips out to the left, twins to the right. Man in motion, keep it in himself, looking for some running room. Out to the 46-yard line, nowhere to go. That's Tyler Barton, who leads them in rushing. But there were 1,300 yards, and he might have got a yard out to the 47-yard line. Crusaders came with a blitz, and when you get penetration, that forces the running back to jitterbug a whole lot, and he got a yard, maybe two. I'll give him two out to the 48-yard line, second down and eight. 9.35, clock turning. First quarter, we are scoreless. Tornado's on their initial possession of the football game, and they'll go from the far hash. And again, it'll be Barton in the backfield with Wolf lined out as a wide receiver. On second down and long. Barton with a direct snap. He'll pitch back left. They're looking to throw it, and he's crowned as he got hit. So Romano grabbed him, and they're going to say it's an incomplete pass. Initially, the official didn't give it the incomplete sign, but after thinking about it maybe for three or four, he waved it off incomplete. Blake Johnson was the guy who was going to throw it, and Stone Romano just stoned him cold at the 48. Incomplete. So, two plays by Southern, and the Crusader defense has been up to the task. So, to bring up third down. Now they're back to their normal offense. And under center is quarterback Tristan Wolf, and he will go back to throw. The lefty looking downfield, going up, up, and out there. He's wide open, and he makes the catch, and then he dropped it. He oh. said he caught it, but he said, yeah, he pinned it on the shoulder, and it's a catch at the 10-yard line. A wonderful throw, but a more wonderful snag by the wideout, Hunter Johnson. Wow, big play. Super catch. First first down of the ball game. And this time they'll keep it himself. Looking for his room. They're trying to, Crusaders trying to pull it out, but it's going to be a loss on the play. Looked like he had trouble with the snap uh, and and wanted to run the option play, but thought better of it because the play was broken down because of the timing. Tristan Wolf, no gain on the play. Second down at a little bit more than 10. At the eight-and-a-half-minute mark, we're scoreless, but the Tornado's threatening at the Crusader 10-yard line. Second down. They can't get a first down inside the one. Receiver out to the near side is Beagle. Far on the far side is Hunter Johnson. And on second down, they got a big fullback with Barton in the backfield. And they'll hand off to Barton. Barton knifing left into the Crusader line. They drop the football. And you're going to say he's down at about the eight-yard line. Give him a pair. Funny, Jenks, you're talking about the big fullback. Billingley's the big fullback, 45. He went right, 
and the counter came back to the left. You think on the eye backfield that you'd bleed with that big horse yeah. with the ISO block. He would follow him back there. So third down and a little more than about eight yards outside the eight. First down inside the one if they can get there. See if the Crusaders send some heat here. Backs are in the eye this time as Tristan Wolf under center, the lefty. Crusaders showing blitz coming up the middle and on the side. Short drop throws across the middle. We got a man caught. Wide open and he will score. Touchdown made by number 32, Colton Walters on a crossing pattern. And Tristan Wolf found him and it's good for six for the tornado. Do it where only Walters could catch it. And Southern has surprised Crusaders quickly here on a drive with two big passes. And they'll try the extra point. And the kick. Is up and the kick is good. The extra point made by Trenton Dean. Seven nothing. We're seeing Southern. Seven twenty-four to go. First quarter. We will be back in thirty seconds. Two for two for a non-passing team and a touchdown. And boy, it's nice to score first on the road. Absolutely. As the big fella approaches, this one is high, a little bit deeper. It'll be taken by Khalil Jones at his 10, coming up through the middle to 15, 20. Look for an opening, 25, 30. Look out, he's got some room. Both down to Khalil Jones, 35, 40, 45, 50. Stutter makes a move. He's grabbed and then taken out of bounds inside Tornado territory. And he'll put it down around the 48-yard line. The Crusaders get a great return and renewed enthusiasm of the home crowd. Couldn't have come at a better time. Catholic Central with excellent field position. And I'd like to see him go for the dagger on the first play. Little play action, go for the home run ball, and tied his football game up quickly and quit messing around and not being able to score because their offense on the first series was ugly. The dreaded sideline warning <laughs> given to the Crusaders as the flag came out. So first down and 10, Catholic Central from the 48-yard line after the 42-yard return by Khalil Jones. And Catholic Central looking to strike as Ryan Fletcher will head out to the far side. Alex Parika to the near side as Cole Bella will go from the shotgun at about five yards deep. Khalil Jones in the backfield will come option right. No pitch right. Uh, Khalil Jones trying to get to the outside. 50, 45 yards. Return in the corner to 40 and out of bounds. They'll spot him down at the 39 line. That'll be a pickup of nine on first down. Jones has been their big threat man. The guy that averages about 12 yards to carry. He's a big play, man. Get him the football. Where's the, the yard marker guys going? They were at the 48. He's at the 39. That's only nine. Is that that fight's crew? <laughs> you're, you're, you're tough. <laughs> you are tough. Nine yard gain, second down to one. I like a pass on this time, but they'll probably, no, no they're going to throw it. Field. All about it. Looking, looking. Now dumps it off to Ryan Fletcher. Has the first down as he shoved out of bounds. He sent two receivers down the right side which cleared out a little bit of room for Ryan Fletcher as he came out of the backfield. And he'll get a first down as they'll mark him at the 35 and a gain of four. See, Carl Antonio and Romano were down there deep that time, and the swing man was Fletcher, the safety valve man, got him the first down. Good decision by Colabella because the two wide receivers were covered. First and 10, Catholic Central at the 35-yard line of the tornado. Seven minutes to go, first quarter. 7 nothing. Racine Southern on top. Colabella goes... Fires out quickly. Looking for some room is Fletcher. He's in trouble. He stiff arms. One guy gets the block. 40, 35 yard line to the 30. Nice job by the Crusaders. The block. Spring it when it looked like he was going to lose some yards. He'll pick up about five to the 30 yard line. Marika, the other wide receiver here on the near side, sprung him loose. Tensel's gone with a couple of real short, quick passes. Second down and five as they locked him out of bounds at the 30 yard line. Ola Bella, two of two, but for only nine yards. Fletcher with both of those catches. Fletcher lines up out on the right side. Fallon goes in motion, and they'll come down. Option left, taken by Khalil Jones. Makes a move at the 30. 25 yard. Khalil Jones down at the 20, and finally tackled down near the 15 yard line. Boy, did he leave somebody in the dust at around the 25 yard line? They'll spot him at the 16, and a gain of 14. Yeah, Jones showed him the leg and took it away. And uh, the old vernacular is he. He made him lose something. I have to be careful what I say. <laughs> yeah. Children may be listening. Pick something up. First down, Crusaders, their second of the drive. They'll set at the 16-yard line, moving right to left from the near hash. They'll send Putin's in motion to the left side. Looking, firing out, got a man caught. Furry can set a 10-yard line where he's tripped up there and taken down. 
as Alex Perica will pick up six yards on first down at the 10-yard line. Paul Ransom made a touchdown-saving tackle. Perica made a good move, but Ransom got him by the ankles. Second down, the Crusaders can get a first down at about the six. Stone Romano back in the lineup at running back. Colabella point left out at Alex Perica. On second down, he'll pitch right. Looking for some room as Romano cuts back inside. He's met with a resistance. Dives forward, though, and gets close to the first down near the six-yard line. And depending on the spot, he'll be pretty close. Don't see Romano carrying the ball to the outside very often. So Central's varying their types of plays. That was just a quick toss sweep to the fullback. Followed at about the seven-yard line. And he's third down and one now. The Crusaders with twins right, receiver left. And Colabella looking downfield, looking, firing on a run, got a man in the end zone, caught, touchdown. Crusaders with a pass into the end zone, and the receiver is number 33, Johnny DeCarlantonio, who got lost in there and got right inside the pylon to make the catch for the score. Surprising call on third and one at the six. But DeCarlantonio was open, and Colabella on that drive completed passes of four, five, Six and six. He's four of four for 21 in the score. So McNamara will attempt the extra point as John Paul awaits for the snap. Crusaders looking to tie it up at the 526 mark of the first quarter. Snap is good. Placement down. Kick is rifled, and it's just inside the left upright, and it is good. 7-7 ball game at Harding Stadium. We'll be back in 30 seconds. It comes to the 526 mark of the first quarter. Johnny DeCarlo Antonio with a seven-yard touchdown pass from Brenton Colabella. And John Paul McNamara with the extra point ties it up at seven. And for DeCarlo Antonio, his 14th catch and his seventh touchdown of the season. And for Brenton Colabella, he connects on his 27th scoring toss of the year. Antonio doesn't catch many. I think Ed Lumen catches it seven out of 14. What's that, 50%? I let Ed, Ed Lumen from the Aero Star sit by me last How night. Come? Because they actually had him on the other side of the press box over by some strangers. Uh -huh. So I flipped it so he could sit by us. So we had somebody we knew there, right? And now he's Ed? harassing me. He's making faces. He's a good man. He is. Plus, we had to keep him awake. <laughs> <laughs> As the approach by Colabella, line drive. It'll be taken at the 25-yard line. Yeah, looking for some room out over the 30-yard line, but then finally wrapped up and taken down. That's number 32. That is Colton Walters, who has the touchdown for the Tornadoes. And they'll have it out over the 30, John, around the 34-yard line. Pretty good field position to begin. Good special teams play by Parisi there. But, yeah, you can start over the 30 on every possession. I got to think that you'll be happy as a coach because you can – Use your full arsenal of plays. First down and 10 for Tristan Wolf and company. As he's got his big fullback behind him. And on first down, hand up the bar and right side. Nowhere to go. Grabbed and taken down. Chris Murphy, the first guy in there. Got some help from Alex Parika and also from 66, Sweet Joe Morton. Morton. They've stopped the running game. But unexpectedly, Southern is 2 of 2 in the air. For 50 yards and the eight-yard score, so let's see what happens. You've got to put pressure on if he's going to go back to pass out of that shotgun or that uh, eye formation that he's been using. Now he's using the pistol. Lot of loss of one on the play trips right, including the fullback Billingsley out here as a wide out single receiver left back to throw, looking, pumping, in trouble, fouling, grabs him, grabs him up. <laughs> Back inside the 25-yard line, Fallon for the linebacker spot, able to come in there and knock him down. It's a loss all the way back to the 22-yard line of 11. Louis Fallon, the outside linebacker, 5'11", 165, senior, came untouched from the outside. So third down and 22 now for the Tornadoes. It's a pretty interesting play there as they had most of the guys here to the near side and the quarterback has, he actually just took one look out there to the far side and only had one guy and no options, and the uh, blitz and sack came from the uh, from his backside. I love that comic, by the way, the far side. The far side? One of the greatest ones. Center with a three-man front. Back to throw. In trouble. Fallon. Fallon again got him and sacked him inside the 20-yard line once again. He tried to pump fake. They let his receiver release, but Fallon would have none of it and pinned him down to the 16-yard line and a loss of six. Now, two excellent defensive plays by outside linebacker Fallon coming on blitzes, 
and the Crusaders ought to get excellent field position with Jones and Fletcher standing at the southern 45-yard line. I would think that you have to feel a little bit better now if you're the Crusaders at that opening drive when they scored, and now you come back and score and get the ball back with a chance to do something else. Penalty flag will come in. Are they going to blow it dead? Nope. Catch by uh, by Fletcher. He's at the 48-yard line trying to get a blocker. one in the back, and he gets away from the second guy. The 45. Here comes another flag, and then he's finally taken out of bounds at around the 40-yard line. So a couple of flags, actually three of them on the play. Billings, Billingsley's uh, kick was only about 32 yards. That was a, a returnable kick. It was a it was a reverse sparrow. Line drive reverse sparrow. And Fallon, because they had return left set up, came to, near the press box. If it had just went straight ahead, no problem. It would have probably been inside the 40 down to about the 35. A couple of score updates. Uh, Ryan's trying to get for scores for us, too. But uh, Shadyside leading 21 to nothing in their ball game. Liberty Union has scored. They lead St. Clairsville seven to nothing. Well, they're talking to Brent and Colabella, both number tens, mm. and uh, that's Trenton Dean, the linebacker. Yeah, you normally so, don't get the uh, referee talking to to both teams' captains. So we'll see what. There must uh, be some options there. Must be something else going on. Three oh four left to go here in the first quarter. It is seven seven. Looks like there's an illegal shift going to be called against. Texas going to make them kick it again. Yeah, but again. Offsetting penalties. So they would have had it at the 40-yard line. So. About well, three penalties for one illegal motion. Well, he forgot to say that there was probably an illegal block, which, which if Central declines the penalty, I don't know if they would have penalized Central. I don't know what the ruling would be there. I think they would have. They declined one, but the other team would accept one. Yeah, so the ball back at the 16-yard line. Offsetting. Now, now is he going to go back? Well, then if he's going back, it's Doesn't not offsetting. No. It before this. Yeah, that'll have to have him take it back to the 11-yard line, so a five-yard so penalty. The punt should have never been punted. Right. They should have blown it dead. Okay. Yeah. I didn't hear the whistle. I mean, I saw him throw the flag, but he didn't blow his whistle. It would have stopped everything. High floater. Air catch. Little Jones will let it go. It'll jack knife back the other way as it hits about the 43 and back to the Crusader 40-yard line. Only a 29-yard punt by Billingsley. Cabot Central in great field position now at the 40-yard line of the Tornadoes. Well, it would certainly be nice to score quickly again as the Crusaders did last time. It only took them a couple of minutes to answer the Southern's first touchdown. First and ten Crusaders. Ryan Fletcher will go out to the far side. Khalil Jones in the backfield. And Alex Perica on the near side. Bowen Zinni lines up at a tight end on the far side. And on the near side is Fallon at the other tight end position. Colabella will pitch left to Khalil Jones looking for some running room, finding Jitterbugs' his way to the 40-yard line, still on his feet, grabbed, wrapped around, finally taken down. If he had just bounced out of that and went to the right side, he had all kind of green there, but unable to get to, and he ends up picking up about two yards down to the 38-yard line. Got to be careful when you start dancing that somebody doesn't punch the football out of your arm. Crusaders with second straight possession. In Tornado territory, would like to capitalize on it. Second down and eight, trips right side. Perica to the near side from the near hash, moving right to left. Colabella looking in trouble, and he's grabbed and he's sacked back at about the 41 or 42-yard line as pick number 54, Casey Peckins, the defensive end, 6'1", 200-pound senior, pulled him down. What happened, Romano was the sidecar in that shotgun, and he went out into the flat and... The big guy just ran right by him. He needed to pick that guy up and forget about getting into the pattern. So brings up third down. And about 11 now for the Crusaders after the three-yard loss back to the 41-yard line. Minute 40 to go here in the first quarter. We are tied at seven. Jim Huggins, John East, Ryan Nolan. Big Jack's hanging out with us tonight, too. Colabella looking, looking, looking down the side of run, take off. And he pinned down at about the 39-yard line. He picked up a couple, but that's going to bring up fourth down. For Catholic Central. It looks like he didn't stay back there long enough to let the play develop. Central's passing in the first or the second drive was all quick pop, 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 pop. This time, twice back to pass. 
it was a deeper pattern, and, and Cola Bella has not been able to get rid of the football. No, and really, you don't want your quarterback running. That's four times already counting sacks that he's run the football. So they'll punt the football away. Cola Bella gets it, hangs it left on the sideline. It'll hit at the 12-yard line. Take a bounce out of bounds and go at a bounds at the 11-yard line. Let's take a timeout. We'll be back in 30 seconds. First out and 10 for the Tornadoes at their low own 11-yard line. They'll hand off up the gut, looking for some room, not getting much, only getting a couple of yards out of there. As the handoff made, taken up there by number four, Paul Ratham. And he'll take it from the 11. They'll spot him at the 13 and a gain of two. Now, they didn't put Billingsley in and pull back on the eye backfield. They put Ratham, who's much smaller than Billingsley, and they gave him the football. Could be the final play of the first quarter. The time clock under 30 seconds of moving. The Shedders have done an excellent job defensively versus the run. The two passes hurt him. Second down and eight at the 13-yard line. Wolf under center with back to the eye. Tight end over on the far side. Single twins actually exit to the near side. And he'll hand off to Barton. Barton's hit. Barton's wrapped up. They'll push him forward maybe to the 14 or 15, and that's it. They'll take him out to the 15-yard line to gain a two. That's the end of the first quarter with your score. Stupidville Catholic Central 7, Racine Southern 7. We'll be back in 60 seconds. End of the first quarter, we're tied at 7 for Catholic Central. Done in that first quarter, 9 rushes, 25 yards. 4 out of 4 in the air for 22. 13 plays, 47 yards. They picked up three first downs. And for the Tornadoes, 8 rushes for a net of negative 10. 2 out of 3 in the air for 50. 11 plays, 40 yards to the offense. They held it for 529. A big play for the Crusader defense, which has really stiffened since the first possession. Hold them here and get good field position again. Crusader showing blitz up the middle. Whoop. They stepped into the neutral zone. That's going to help them out five yards. So instead of third down at about six, it'll be third down at about a yard. I think you got a little, uh, you know, you get a little anxious. And that's why you use the long count and you bark and you bark and you make the defense get a little nervous. Third penalty for 15 yards against Catholic Central. 7-7, seven, seven, just start in the second quarter. Like old Beatles used to say, I'm feeling a little anxious. A little anxious. So third down and a yard. My friend CK, Chris Kirkpatrick, I appreciate that Beetlejuice reference up in County Road 19 up in Mingo Junction. Third down and a yard, and they'll hand off to the deep back. And right. He ain't getting anything. He got stopped right at the 20-yard line, stoned right there in the middle, and it'll bring up fourth and one. Excellent play. Uh, I saw Murphy there. I saw 5-0, Mark Vittori, the nose tackle, and the big guy on the outside, uh, Jake Karobic. And that's a big stop. You know, Tyler Barton is their leading rusher coming into this football game. He has rushed for... 1,342 yards. That's an average of 134 yards a game. Five rushes, five yards mm -hmm. here in the early going for him. They've done the job for him. Billingsley gets the snap, lets it fly. It's another Woo! screamer. It'll hit over the head of the 40-yard line. Khalil Jones picks it up at the 33-yard line. He might have some blockers here. Cuts back to the 40-yard line, to the 45 center step penalty flag now. Uh -huh. And they'll wrap him up near midfield finally. Jones doing a super job of catching that ball on the hop, not allowing it to roll a lot further. 47-yard punt, counting the roll. That looks like one of your line drive drives. Not too high. Taken bullet. off. A bullet. So the penalty flag lays at the 40-yard line, so don't take the Crusaders back. How far did you say that punt travel? 47 yards. Not too shabby. Picked it up at the 33-yard line. So the penalty flag will take it from the 40 to the 30-yard line. 10-yarder against Catholic Central. Their fourth penalty now for 25 yards. Looked like the Crusaders were going to get good field position again. But that booming punt and the penalty pushes them back. First down and 10, Catholic Central. Second time they started from their own 30 to two other times from the 48 and 40 of the Tornadoes. Wait for the chain gang to get situated. you got to move that chain up to the 30-yard line, not the 22. There you go. <laughs> oh, you're just so fine. <laughs> First and ten. Uh oh, the power pistol at the thirty-yard line. They're showing blitz up in the middle. Here they come. It's picked up. Hand off to Fletcher. Flag comes flying in. Fletcher gets out over the thirty-three-yard line and taken down the flag back at the twenty-eight-yard line. The holding flag from the umpire who stands behind the defensive line. Yeah. So the flag actually going to be marked off from the thirty because that's the line of scrimmage. And that's going to take it back to the 20, so back-to-back -back penalties costing the Crusaders. 
five of them now for 35 yards. We still got 11:08 to go here in the first half. We're tied at seven. We do have a couple of scores uh, from the Spuds Park UN scoreboard. Uh, Martin's Ferry leads Westfall six to nothing, as you mentioned. Uh, Liberty Union leads St. Clairsville seven nothing, and Caldwell leads Malvern oh, 14 nothing. Caldwell has got better and better as the season has progressed. Absolutely. First down and 20 now for the Crusaders at a 20. Colabella back to throw. Got back. And he's looking, moving right side, being pressure throws on a run. Got a man caught foul at the 31-yard line. He's hit immediately and taken down. A spot him at the 32 and again a 12. They did. That time, the, the, the offensive line gave Colabella a lot of time. Evidently, the defensive backs and linebackers for Southern had glue coverage. Nobody was open. He, he bided his time and found Fallon. They got back that penalty. Brenton is 5 for 5 for 34 yards and a score here in the early going. 10-23 to go in a half. 7-7 ball game. Stone Romano in the backfield now. Colabella back to throw. Throws a dart across the middle. Got a man caught. First down. Catch by Alex Perica out near the 41-yard line. So just like that, a couple of plays. And the first down recorded in their fourth. That was a drill. Tight coverage. He put it where only Corica would get it, and it was hard thrown. And Alex tucked it under and got the big first down. Nine-yard pickup out to the 41-yard line. First down and 10, Catholic Central. Corica's second catch for 15 yards. Twins right and left. And off to Romano. Romano up the gut to the 45-yard line, driving forward to the 46-yard line before he's taken down in a five-yard pickup for Snow. Romano just ran over the first tackle. That's where Romano is at his best. Between the tackles, up the gut, quick hitters, bang, bang, bang. He's a hard runner. Second down and four after the gate of five, actually second and five. They need to get to the 49-yard line. A lot of no-huddle here, looking for the signal yeah. from the sideline. Trips right, receiver left, single back. Colabella quickly throws out there. The pass is caught and dropped by Perica. First incompletion of the ball game for Cali Central. Six out of seven for 44. Colabella, 7-7 seven, seven tie. Clock stopped on the incompletion. 9-18 to go first half. So third down and five. Southern continues in that 4-3-4 four, four umbrella defense. Haven't let the Crusaders go deep with the pass. From the middle of the field. Crusaders, blitz showing, and they back out. Colabella rolls right, looking downfield, throwing up, got a man on top, got Ryan Fletcher out there, and he just out, couldn't get it. On the outstretched fingertips of Ryan Fletcher, it's incomplete, it'll bring a fourth down, and Catholic Central will punt. Here in the first half with 9.13 to go. Average 32 yards on his first kick, first two kicks. Tristan Wolf, back deep. He's the up guy. Johnson oh, popped up. Somebody should hear all the infield, infield fly. fly. It'll hit at the 40-yard line. It'll take a Crusader bounce of about a couple of yards and be down at the 38-yard line. That's only a 16-yard kick. Oh, I got to give the uh, yard line at a 7-7 ball game. First down and 10 as Tristan Wolf will go under center with backs in the eye and single receivers on both sides. Tight end lines up over on the right side. Crusaders in a five-man front. They'll hand off left side to Barton. Barton's hit by Fallon. Drives forward, drop the football, but he's down. And he'll get out to the 42-yard line again of four. Good job by Fallon because if Barton gets by Fallon, he's into the secondary for a huge gain. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, he got to the 42 for four. Well, that's the longest gain of the night for Tyler Barton, four yards. He's got nine yards on six carries. Unable to get their big running back on track. Their running game has suffered. They've got minus six yards now. On 10 carries. So they'll go twins left and right this time with Barton in the backfield to the left of Tristan Wolf, who's a left-hander. So probably not going to get this handoff. Crusaders showing blitz. Here they come. They give it to Barton around the right side. Cuts back here. Second hole. 45-50. Look out. Penalty flag at the 45. Coming back. 35-30, 25-20. And then taken down at about the 19-yard line. But a flag at the 45-yard line of the Tornadoes, and this one should come back. Boy, that's going to be a monster penalty after that game. That was a beautiful read option play by quarterback Wolf reading the defensive end. He sticks the ball in the belly. Sometimes he takes it up. Sometimes he leaves it. He made the right decision, but the holding penalty, he gets a monster game. 
10-yard penalty, their second for 15. And the coaching staff, I was looking at them, John, they did not argue the call, so it must have been pretty blatant out there on the right side. So it took place at the 45. Give so a three-yard pickup. Three-yard pickup. Penalized 10. So it brings up second down and about 13 now for Racine Southern at the 805 mark in a 7-7 ball game. Is that the first penalty? The second seven? one. Second for 15. All right, I missed the first one. Thank jumped you. offside earlier, I think. So second down and 13 for the Tornadoes. Twins left and right. Quarterback Trent Tristan Wolf in his bright green shoes goes back to pass. Throws out there. The lefty tips up. Oh, stolen. Kicked off at the 30-yard line. And Khalil Jones down the sideline. 10-5 makes the move. Steps in the end zone. Touchdown. Crusaders. Oh, Khalil Jones with a 33-yard touchdown. Oh, Khalil Jones with a 33-yard touchdown. Khalil Jones with a 33-yard interception return for the score. That's called stealing. The ball was into the hands of the wideout, but he was sort of fluttering with it, and Jones just ripped it right out of his arm and then took it down the sideline. Big play defensively. Khalil Jones getting the score on a 33-yard interception return at the 737 mark, and the Crusaders take the lead. Chris Murphy will hold, and John Paul McNamara will try to tack on point number 14. Got to move the down marker down. 7.37 to go and a half. Huge, huge defensive play for Catholic Central. Oh, that's just what Steubenville Central needed. When You know, when your offense is struggling and, and you can't get something going uh, very much, you know, a big defensive play can turn the momentum around uh, and a whole lot, and that's what it did right there. Snap down, placement up. Kick is up, actually, and the kick is good by John Paul McNamara. 14-7. Crusaders, 7.37 to go and a half. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Reception return for the score, covering 33 yards, and John Paul McNamara attacks on the extra point, and Catholic Central on top now 14-7. to So they scored back-to-back touchdowns, John, and answered the 7 nothing lead by Racine Southern with two of their own. Nothing like the defense coming up with a huge, huge play. Kick is high. It is not real deep. It'll be taken at about the 18-yard line. Gotten over to 20, 25, 30. Out of the 33-yard line is Hunter Johnson with a return. And that's where they'll start off at about the 33, it's actually the 38-yard line now, first down and 10. Where they started on the last possession when Jones stole the pass from the wide receiver and gave... The Crusaders, a pick six. Defense has played extremely well since the first possession. When two big pass plays got a touchdown for the Tornadoes, but they've been stymied since. First and ten for Racine Southern at the 38-yard line. They'll hand off near side. Look over some room. Barton not well where to go. They wrap him up. They send him back like a pretzel and take him down to the 38-yard line for no gain. Real good job by nose tackle Mark Vittori. He was all over that play in that three-man front. So it'll be second down. And the vaulted running attack of the Tornadoes has gone nowhere. Minus three yards so far. 12th place. And they are two for four in the air for 50 and a score. Second down and 10. And they'll hand off to the big fellow, Billingsley, driving that pile forward over to 40, out to the 42, maybe the 43-yard line. Westfall now beat Martin Ferry 13-6 to with Ferry driving in that ball game, thanks to our friend Kenny Richardson, former, former Crusader running back, who, by the way, weeks ago inducted into the Crusader Hall. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations, Ken. Very nice. Even if you are a Penn State fan. Well, it's not me all that bad. I'm a Penn State fan, but who? They probably were as bad as Michigan was today. Who am I? Did Michigan lose? I'm not going to talk about You're it. You're not going to talk about it. Oh, you always monster the Penn State. is going to get you on you about Michigan. Five. Big third down for Central. Yeah, third and five after the five-yard game by Billingsley. And Wolf back to throw. Under pressure, rolling right. He's the left. He throws. Throws it up in the air. Incomplete. And then that pass did not look very good at all. As you roll right, you're a lefty. Difficulty. Now give credit to Jake Karovic, who made the tackle on the previous play. He was put into heat on quarterback Wolf. And as you mentioned, you're a lefty running right, throwing against the grain. Very difficult to do. Punting time for Billingsley. The last four possessions, three punts and an interception for the Tornado offense. Billingsley gets it, and he hits that drive. low shot. Jeez, it just takes Whoa. off. And inside the 20-yard line, inside the 10, it's like a rugby kick. 
inside. In fact, it'll sit right on about the five-yard line. We do have a uh, an update on the Spuds Parkview in scoreboard. Shady Side now leads Fairfield Christian twenty-seven to nothing. Shady Side is big and physical and good. Start the bus. Colabella from the shotgun with a Romano in the backfield. Twins left and right, and Stone will get the handoff left side to the five out near the nine-yard line. And it'll pick up four yards on first down. Crusaders being cautious down here, trying to get a little bit of space. Third carry for Romano with 12 yards here in the first half. Neither team doing much offensively. Central's got about uh, close to 80 yards offensively, and and uh, Racine has gotten about 50-some yards. So nobody doing a whole lot on offense. Second down and six out at the nine-yard line. Well, Bella again from the shotgun and back to throw. Looking on that crossing pattern. Fired a crossing. Got a man caught. Steve Johnny D to Carlin Frontier out to the 25-yard line and a first down. As they spot him at the 26, he went down low and he picked it up. And a 17-yard gain and a first down. That was a terrific catch by the little man, Johnny D, because he did go low, almost down to his shoe top with a defender right on him. And a terrific play, a huge first down, getting them out of the hole. A nice job by Brandon Colabella, too, to wait for Johnny D to get inside of the defender, and then he let it right into it. A little bit low, but he came up with it. Colabella now 7 out of 9 for 60 yards. And first down number 5. Yep. Fowler will come in motion. He slips and falls. Colabella in trouble, gets away from one, looking downfield, firing a dip Look out there, and the pass was almost caught by Fowler, not of the 38 or 39-yard line, but... Colabella trying to avoid the pressure and get away from the sack. Over the middle, late, sometimes can be very, very interesting. You know, there's an interesting side bit to that St. Clairsville game tonight. Uh, they are playing uh, Liberty, Liberty Union. Liberty Union. Mike Van Voltenberg, who graduated from Mingo High School a, a year in front of me, his son, who was on my JCYB all basketball team. Nick is a senior lineman for St. Clairsville, and I'll get back to that in a second. And Colabella rolling right in trouble, steps away from one, can't step away from the second one, and he's going to be sacked back at the 21 yard line and a loss of five on the play. But going back to my story, uh, Tom Basso, who graduated with me from Mingo High School in 1979, his son is the leading ball carrier for Liberty Center. So we got a couple of Mingo boys whose sons are playing against each other tonight down in St. Clairsville. That's interesting. Meanwhile, once again, when Colabella has rolled out, it's been tough to find the receiver. Third down and 15 now for the Crusaders. They need to get out to the 36-yard line. Don't make a mistake here. Colabella has trips left for single receiver right. Back to throw. Looking, rolling right. Trying to look downfield. He tells Johnny D to get moving. He'll keep it himself, and he's taken down out near the 23 or 24 yard line. He runs way too much. Just throw the ball away. You end up getting yourself hurt, and he's out of bounds at the 23 yard line in a gain of two. And that stops the clock and saves the timeout. Still running. For the tornado. Oh, they must have said he was hit inbounds. So 3.33 and the clock turning, and Colabella will punt. Southern should get good field position. Let's kick a line drive, high floater, going to be taken at the 45-yard line. He's got Hunter the corner. Duff, got the room, 50, 45-yard line to the 40-yard line. Southern Seption goes out of bounds at about the 37 or 38-yard line. Nice job by Johnson to get to the corner and get extra yardage, then step out of bounds and... Racine has good field position at the Catholic Central 37-yard line. 32-yard punt. And with 316 left to go here in the first half, Racine Southern will take over a good field position at the Crusader 37-yard line. And that is their best field position and the first time starting in Catholic Central territory here in the first half. Well, Kenny just updated us. Martin Ferry threw an interception at the West Falls 4, wow. so they're still down 13-6. to six. West Falls 5-5. Five and five. First down and 10, hand off to Barton. Barton right side, not a whole lot to go. He's hit at the 35-yard line and driven backwards. And the driver was 66 for the Crusaders. Defensive end, Jimmy Joe Morton. Two-yard pickup for Barton, nine carries, 14 yards. You know, you see them try to get him out in space, a little screen pass, up off, something like that, because they're running him, and they run him that time to the short side of the field where all the bodies are at. Can't get through there. Second down and eight. 
They have both teams with three timeouts remaining, 2.43 in the clock turning, 14-7, Catholic Central. Hunter Johnson split to the near side, Khalil Jones. Hopefully he sees him there because he's not even looking at him right now. No pitch left to Barton. Barton trying to get to the outside. Stiff arm. Grabbed up. Take it down. Chris Murphy and Alex Parika stoned him down at the 36-yard line and a loss of one. Parika came from his cornerback position to the outside. He got blocked. But Murphy filling inside from his right side linebacker position. Got the initial hit. Parika recovered and helped make the tackle. Third down. They're down in a long nine. And now timeout going to be called by the Tornadoes. 2-0-1 left to go here in the first half. 14-7 Crusaders. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Somebody's got to. After the timeout, third down and nine now for Racine Southern at the Crusader 36-yard line. Single receivers right and left as Tristan Wolf under center will hand off to Barton. Barton at the 35 down to about the 32-yard line. A little bit different uh, play call there on third and long. Well, they're in four-down territory, and they figure they don't throw the ball very often. Maybe they can catch them. Meanwhile, one of their big offensive linemen limps off the field. That's Austin Barton, number 55, yeah. an add-on to that roster. Oh, at the... 31-yard line. They'll hand off to Barton. He's hit the backfield and dropped. Nowhere to go. Chris Murphy's there to take it down. And they went to the short side, Jack. That's the same play they ran on the previous play. They were strong left. I thought they would go left where they had more blockers. Murphy with an outstanding play. And Catholic set for a minute and 25. Decent field position. Maybe can take a shot. Out at the 31-yard line. Crusaders with three timeouts remaining. Barton, 12 carries, 18 yards. Doing absolutely nothing, a surprise call there on fourth down. So it'll be first and ten for the Crusaders. Perico goes out far side. Fletcher on the near side. Let's see a tight end over the middle here. That boat and Zinni is lined up at a right wing. And they'll hand off to Khalil Jones. Khalil Jones into the secondary, 35, 40 yard line, makes a move, breaks the ankle, cuts to the outside, gets away, then finally tripped up and falls forward. They'll have a first down all the way out of the 47 yard line. A pickup of 16 and a first down, 41 yards now on five carries for Khalil Jones. Jones looked like he was on the dance floor there, man, because those feet were moving. Time out. North Point, pointing you in the right direction. If you or someone you know is suffering from anxiety, fear, sadness, depression, or substance abuse, we are here to help. North Point, pointing you. Is that his 12th pass attempt? 11. I have him 11. All right, that's what I got to. 7 of 11. For 60 yards and a touchdown. 108 to go here in the half. Crusaders down to two timeouts. And second and 10 from the 47. Showing blitz up the middle by Dean. Here he comes. They pick it up. He roll right. Look for downfield. Colabella dumps it off to Khalil Jones. He's met by there by Barton. He drops the football. It's loose on the turf. And Colabella will recover back inside the 40-yard line. Now, the call here, what the heat he's been getting is a screen pass. Play clock inside of 30 seconds now on third down. Or draw. about 18. He'll hit the draw play to Fletcher coming out of the backfield, 40, 45 yard line out to midfield and then taken down there. And they'll continue to run the clock. Ryan Fletcher takes it from the 39 down to the 49, a gain of 12. That's his first carry of the night. And now Catholic Central will call time on fourth down with 7.7 seven, seven seconds to go and maybe take a shot at a... Uh... Well, fourth down, and Crusaders have it. The lineup trips left side. Receiver right is the Carl Antonio. And a chance pay perhaps for a Hail Mary is Stone Romano in the backfield. Colabella will throw it back out to... Fletcher, he will pitch left to Khalil Jones, and it's the Stanford play. Khalil Jones has blockers out in front of him. 40-yard line, 35-yard line, 30, 25, 20. Khalil Jones tackled finally all the way down at the 13-yard line in a clock four run out. If they start that play with about 20 <laughs> seconds left, they would have some more time, but he's talked out of bounds at the 14-yard line. 30.
for 11 minutes and 12 seconds, and they've only had two first downs. So we will now head to the third quarter with the Crusaders leading by a score of 14 to 7. And the Tornadoes will get the football to begin the second half as Brenton Colabella approaches and lets it fly. Kick is high and deep. And it'll be taken. Hunter Johnson back at his own five-yard line as the reverse come back upfield to the 10, 15-yard line, out to the 20, looking to go outside, trying to get a block. And he's still on his feet, and he finally dragged down in the open field by Fallon, who's having a great game. And he takes him down at about the 22-yard line. Hunter Johnson, very, very shifty. But the mistake he made there is when he cut it to the outside, he still had the ball in his left hand, and he was running to the right, and that's very difficult. As you mentioned, we had Fallon with a couple of back-to-back sacks there in the second quarter, and now a nice special teams play. First down and 10 for the Tornadoes. They'll start at their own 22-yard line, moving right to left from the far hash. The lineup trips on the near side, including the big fullback, Billingsley. Single back in the backfield is Barton as... Tristan Wolf with a single wide out right will come down option to the near side to Martin. Martin trying to cut outside with some space to the 25 yard line, drives forward to the 30 and taken down right at the 30 yard line. As Marika been on the tackle along with 22 Ryan Fletcher, but not before Barton picks up eight. Jones may have hurt his ankle. He's limping around a little bit. First time we've seen that option play. He wanted to run it earlier, but he had a snap that he couldn't handle. At the half, Cincinnati Moeller leads. St. X by the score of 21 to 14. That eight-yard gain matches the eight yards they had on 17 yes. plays in the first half. And that's the longest run of the game for him. On second down in a pair, they come to Billingsley. He's hit head on. He's gang tackled, but he falls forward. The big fella gets close to the first down out here at 32. It looks like he'll be just shy. Fallon was down low. Down by and Murphy and Engel were up top. Looked like no gain, but he got about a yard and a half. Give him a yard out to the 31-yard line. But it's two carries, six yards here in the early go. And it'll bring a third down and less than one. Crusaders, if they win this ball game, would take on Gloucester Trimble, who is rolling over their competition, 33 to nothing. Gloucester Trimble with seven shutouts in ten games this year. Third down, less than one. Quarterback keeper by Wolf has the first down. He'll get out to the 35-yard line. And they'll spot him right at the 35 and a gain of four on, her, four on the play. First down, number three, first of the half. Wolf trying to get back to sea level now with four carries and minus 13 yards. Back on offense as they started rolling late in the first half. First and ten for the Tornadoes at their own 35-yard line. Wolf under center. The Crusaders in a three-man front with three linebackers lurking, showing blitz. And now delay a game. Too much time. You heard a fan yell about time. Well, that's what it's all about, it's time. Time. <laughs> Ryan Nolan from Harding Stadium in Steubenville, Ohio. Winner will play next Saturday night at a site to be named. Trips out to the right side, receiver left. Crusaders pressing the receiver on the near side. They're only in the three-man front. Two linebackers show blitz. He'll come down option right. He'll keep it himself. Wolf is hit by a couple of guys. Stone Romano was there and kind of knocked him down at about the 33-yard line. Maybe it'll... And again, a three. By Good Wolf. job with only five in the box that time for Catholic Central, limiting to three yards. Gain of three, second down to 12. That's when you want to run with only five in the box. Central's been going three-man front, four-man front. Second down and 12. So the receiver Beagle out to the right side. Trips to the near side. They've only thrown it five times. And Wolf from the shotgun, he'll go back to throw. The lefty pump takes, now he'll take off on the run. 35-yard line, Romano grabs him, still on his feet. Finally brought down by Fallon. Number 32 for the Crusaders, that is Robbie Lefevre. And Tristan Wolf will get out to the 38-yard line. He gains five more guns. Good escape ability by Wolf because the initial tackler had him maybe at the 35, but he got away. And then he was pinned down, so it's third and long. Third down and a long seven now. They've had the ball since the third quarter began. Wow. Legal stop. Referee throws the flag. There it is. So you get yourself into position to get a first down, and now you're third and 12. Second third down and 12. And they'll have Rathman and Beagle along with Johnson. Empty backfield. Let's see if Crusaders send some pressure. Trips right, twins left, 
seven in the box. Crusaders send four. Pressure coming. Pass is out there. And Ooh. Julio Jones would have had a big six, but it sailed through his fingers, and it's incomplete as the receiver ramped and ran down the field. And Khalil Jones jumped the route, but it's incomplete. Somebody did something wrong because Ransom wasn't even looking for the football. And Khalil Jones, we saw that happen last night in the Super Bowl game where their defensive back, uh, Lawrence Burke, he had two interceptions, and he dropped probably three more. It's just a matter of your eyes become wide. You see that. Nobody in front of you. They'll put the football away. Billings Lee lets it fly. Another screamer. Fletcher catches at his own 32-yard line coming right, trying to get to the outside. Stops. Cuts back to the outside again. 35, 40-yard line. Tripped up at about the 43. Boy, the trail man did a heck of a job. Tommy Ransom. He never gave up on the play, and he made the shoestring tackle from behind, but a good job by Fletcher to give Catholic Central... So Fletcher will split out near side. Parika to the far side. Single back is Khalil Jones. A line up a tight end Fallon on the left side on first down and 10. Colabella comes down with option left. He'll pitch left to Khalil Jones. Khalil Jones nowhere to go. Makes a move. Dives up inside over the... I might have got back to the line of scrimmage. That's going to be about all. Center has scored again. They, Liberty Union has scored again. They lead 17 to nothing over St. Clairsville. That's a surprise. Second down and 10 at the 43-yard line. Back to throw is Colabella. Looking, looking, jumping, now rolling. Throws on a run, and the pass is incomplete. Intended for DeCarlo Antonio to the outside, but he threw it inside. That'll bring up third down and 10. Not what you want to do. Third and long, and go three and out. See if uh, Rich Bull and the PA announcer see those scores. If he wants to update the crowd, especially the Martins Ferry and St. Clairsville game, it'll draw some moves on Oz. Third down and 10 for the Crusaders. Blitz being shown. Here they come. Throw quick out to Parika. Parika gets inside of a tackler and then falls forward to the 48-yard line. He only gains five. It'll bring up fourth down. Travis Kimes makes the stop, and he's listed as a defensive tack. His 40-yard line at about the 35. CP tries to angle it here to the right side. His last punt was a pop-up. They have a short guy at Wolf and then a deeper guy. He'll let this one fly. High hanger. It's a knuckler. It'll hit at about the 26-yard line. And it'll be touched at the 27-yard line. 25-yard punt, no return. Still 14-7, middle of the third quarter. Big ooh from the crowd as he just gave the St. Clairs will score. First and 10, Tornadoes. Tristan Wolf under center with a tight end right. And backs her in the eye. And he'll fake the handoff, and a lefty will roll left. Look to the near side, looking downfield. He wants his guy to go. He's in trouble. He better get rid of it. He gets away from one, but he'll be wrapped up and taken down. By number 50, Mark Decor will pull him down. Good pursuit by the nose guard. Helped out by Murphy. That time, Wolf should have ran the football, Jack. Yeah. He decided to wait, 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 and it cost him. They didn't run it. They really did. Right. 42-yard pass and an eight-yard pass. It. Yeah. Passing game has been stymied since then. Second down. And 10 at the 27. They'll hand off the Barton up the right side. They'll get to the 30-yard line, and that's it. First down, Central had a three-man front. This time they brought an extra defensive lineman in and went with the four-man front. We've mentioned a couple of times Barton averaging 134 yards a game coming in. He's got 14 carries, 29 yards. That's two yards carry. That will not get it done from your running game. Too much a decoy. I got a guy that size. I want to be using him. Third down. And seven at the 30-yard line. Receiver in motion, and now we've seen Southern doesn't like what they see. They'll call a timeout. 524 to go into third. 14-7, Crusaders will be back in 60 seconds. Institute. Excellence in motion. On third and seven, Tristan Wolf will go from the shotgun. Looking to throw, pump fake, dumps it off on the flat. Got a man at the 30-yard line up to the 35. Tripped at a football, but it goes out of bounds. That's going to be close to a first down. See where he marks it. Catch was made by Trenton Dean. He marks it there. It's going to be a first down. Out of the 38-yard line, a gain of eight. Clinging to a 14-7 lead. And as inept as has been offensively for the Tornadoes, they're only a score away from tying this football game up. As Wolf from the shotgun with an empty backfield. Crusaders in a three-man front. Three or four linebackers lurking. Wolf going up top, and that passes way over everybody's head. Lands at about the 25-yard line. Nearest player, two is number 11, Tony Barber, for the Crusaders. Long, and they'll go with the four-man front. Jake from State Farm, Karolik into the lineup. Son of Edward, one of my good buddies. Police officer in town. 
Second down and 10. Another empty backfield. As Wolf, here they come on a blitz up the middle as Murphy threw, threw and the pass is caught. Nice catch down below about the knees, making the catch and getting out over the 40 to the 42 yard line. That's Tommy Rathman, number one. Tony Barber. Tony Barber with a nice shoestring tackle as he had one on one coverage with Ratham. So third and make the ball about six and a half. From the 38 to the 42. Quarter, 14 7. Crusaders on top of the Tornadoes. Logo Parhash moving right to left and down on third down and six. And Wolf back to throw again, rolling right. There's going to be a holding call. He tackled him, but no penalty flag. Wolf throws on the run, got a man caught, and out of bounds at the Crusader 48 yard line. I saw that one. I don't usually see him, but that was right wow. out there where the referee should have been able to see the defensive lineman sort of tackle the pursuing Crusader. And they picked up 10 yards on the play in a first down. Okay. Five. Actually, five of nine. Johnson was the other pass. Okay. So it's first down and ten. Their fifth first down. And they're using a lot of empty backfield on this yeah. series. And Wolf from the shotgun with the blitz lurk. And here comes Salen. He'll step up into the pocket. Now he's on the run at the 50-yard line. At the 45, gets a great block at the 40-yard line. Drives forward and tackled at the 39-yard line. Whoa. Chris Murphy got handled by Dean. Knocked him out of the play. And allowed Wolf to get down the sideline to the 39-yard line in a gain of nine. 17, he's battled his back way back into it. Second down and a yard with three and a half to go into third. And the Tornado's on the march to Crusader 39-yard line. And he'll dump across the middle. Got to be a wide open inside the 35, but he couldn't throw it. He threw it behind him. Looking for number four, Paul Rathman. I like to call on second and short. You're in four down territory. Trailing by seven. If he leads that receiver, it's yeah. a big gain. He Rose. threw it, as you said. He threw it behind him instead of in front of him. Should have thrown it inside, threw it outside. He doesn't look, you know, real, uh, you know, coordinated with his passing. I mean, he's left-handed, but he keeps the left hand way out. It's not, there's not a whole lot of follow-through to him. Throws seem to sail on him. Third down in the yard at the Crusader 39-yard line. For Bart Moore, the snake. Five or six man front the offensive line moves. That'll help. Aim on you. Karen Wolf is yapping at his lineman, which I wouldn't do because that guy has to walk for you. <laughs> That's a big play. Back to the 44 yard line of five yarder. He got two shots at getting a yard, and now the third and six. Now you got to decide if you don't get it here. Do you want to risk it or are you trying to punt and send the Crusaders back? To Only down by a score, 14 to 7. See if he runs the option here to the near side, which is the, the lengthy side of the field because they're on the right hash mark. Third down and six. Wolf with the single back this time. Crusaders showing blitz, they back out. Wolf pump fakes, looking, looking. Taking off on the run now, 45 yard line. Look out, got a first down and more. 40, 35, 30, 25 to the 29. Spurica picks him up and puts him down and around the 20 yard line. They'll mark him at the 21. Give him 23 on a scramble. And I don't think the Crusaders were set for the quarterback to run the football like he has, especially here in the third quarter. That's a monster play. Yeah, he's 21 yard line. And again, Empty backfield, putting a lot of pressure on the Crusaders who are in the four-man front this time. Quince right, trips left. Wolf from the shotgun, short drop, throws it on the flat. Got a man caught, Barton, 20 yards. Oh, it's supposed to pick up. Oh. And the Crusaders got it as Fallon with the recovery out of the 28-yard line. <laughs> if Fallon could have came up with that cleanly, Jack, at the 28, he was gone because there was nobody in front of him. Somebody nipped him from behind. I don't even think he got back to the line of scrimmage, did they? Line of scrimmage was the 20, 21, one, negative seven on the pass completion. And they'll hand off to Ryan Fletcher. Fletcher gets away from one tackle, 30 yards, cuts back up inside. Now he's cut to the outside, 35, 40. Ryan Fletcher looking for a block, can't get it. Checked out the 44 yard line. He picks up 16 in a later first down. If Johnny D had a little bit of room, he could have got the, band, the block, but the, the, the defender's back was to him, so he didn't try to block it. Good effort by Fletcher. First down and 10. Crusaders with their first down number seven. Number seven. 
Hand off to Khalil Jones, up into the gut, across from the fifth, right at midfield, actually, and taken down right there after a six-yard pickup. Out of Crusader fans, 50 line of Khalil Jones with a six-yarder. Eight carries, 82 yards. He's averaging 12 yards a carry coming in. He's averaging 10 tonight. Second down, and four yards to go. The Crusaders looking for momentum here at the 50-yard line. Four-man front. No handoff up the gut, perfect. They call 45 yard line, has the first down at the 40 yard line, and he's run down at about the 38 yard line. Chris Furby picks up 12 and another first down. I think Central moves the chains for the eighth time. 16, 6, and 12. A couple of quick first downs. Crusaders moving on the ground. There comes a couple of defensive subs in the line. And for Southern. And the ball not doing any good for him now. They bring another guy back in. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So first down, Crusaders at the 38-yard line. Running from the fire pistol again. Colabella fakes the handoff and back to throw. Dumps it off in a flat. Blue post team, he got it. Gets away from one, but he's tripped up. And he's taken down at the 32-yard line. A little six-yard pitch into the flat to the tight end slash fullback, Bogenzini. So they take it from the 38 to the 32 and a gain of six. Nice drive for the Crusaders starting from their 28. Three runs, one pass. They're at the Tornado 32. And they'll hand off to Fletcher. Fletcher left side, big hole, 30. Touchback, 25 yard line. Fletcher on the feet, spun down at the 22 yard line. On the gate of 10. On the gotten by Wolf. Big holes opened up by that offensive line, doing a real good job. Botanzini to tight end. Shreve to center. Godich, one of the tackles. Karovic, Marchetta, Engel all doing a good job up front. So the first down for the Crusaders, their ninth, third. For the drive, they pitch right to Khalil Jones, looking to get to the outside, makes a move at the 20-yard line, penalty flag at twice, to the 15, to the 10, to the, to the 5. Khalil Jones tackled at the 4, but this one's coming back. Flag, Yellow Hanky sitting at the 20-yard line. It's a hold. It'll be a two-yard game for Khalil Jones down to the 20. And then most of the damage on this drive coming out of the power pistol and the running attack. And he'll hand off up the gut to Murphy, cut back to the inside to the 20. And Murphy taken down inside the 20 yard line and spotted at the 17. He'll pick up 13 yards. And the three, Crusaders 14 7. Central driving when we return. Well, as we begin the fourth quarter, Crusaders leading at 14 7 and driving, second down and five. Football at the 17 yard line. He needs to get to the 12 for a first down. After Chris Murphy ripping off his second big run, two carries, 25 yards here in the second half. And on second down and five, they'll hand off up the gut again. That's Fletcher inside the 15 and down to about the 13 or 12. Fletcher and Murphy have been doing an excellent job of power running between the guards and the tackles. That offensive line, Karovic, Shreve, Godich, Engel. Third down and one. Doing an excellent job from the 13-yard line. Also, Marchetta. Colabella fakes the run. No blood is one dead now. Illegal procedure uh, called against the Critters. Ryan, you got some updates for us? I do. have the championship game, but I think that was Liberty Center when they were state champs in the early 90s. Third down and about six for the Crusaders after the penalty. Hand off to Luke Potenzini. Big hole at the 15-yard line. He's driving forward all the way down about the 12, and he's going to have a first down. He's going to get it. The near official is spotting him inside the 12, and that's going to move the change as Luke Potenzini picks up six. So the five-yard penalty didn't hurt as much. Crusaders have moved from their 28. 11 plays, including penalty. Jones will check in at the running back. Yeah, first down. Meanwhile, Martin Sperry down 13 to 12 at fourth and three at the Westfall 25 yard line. They went for it and did not get it. Turned it over on downs. They're in the loaded pistol for the first time tonight. As Colabella takes the snap, hands off to Khalil Jones up to the gap, big hole to the 10, to the 5. He drives forward and he will score. Touchdown, Khalil Jones from 12 yards out, and the Crusaders have extended their lead. They lead it 20 to 7. And Khalil Jones went right behind fullback Stone Romano, who was one of the big dudes in the backfield along with Potency. In fact, he had his hand on his back as he crossed the five and strode right into the end zone. Big drive by Catholic Central. Back to Mary for the extra point. Our first score since halfway through the second quarter. 
And it comes at the 11-minute mark. I think Romano's your long snapper. Back to Merrick, getting set. Placement, kick on away, high enough, and he splits the upright. 21-7. Catholic Central leads 11 minutes to go. We'll be back in 30 seconds. 12 plays, 72 yards, 3 minutes and 33 seconds. Laps off the clock. Touchdown comes at the 11-minute mark of the fourth quarter. Khalil Jones with a 12-yard touchdown run. And for Khalil Jones, that is his 14th touchdown scamper of the season. Back to Mara adds the extra point, and Crusaders lead it now 21 to 7. So up 14 to 7, and the Tornadoes are driving. The Crusaders get a turnover, and they turn it into points. Monster turnover. As Colabella hits this one high, and Hunter Johnson will take it at about the 11 yard line. Coming near side to the 20 yard line, he's hit it to 25 and wrapped up. Stone Romano. As Hunter Johnson runs into a stone wall, Romano at the 25 and goes down. Good kickoff coverage by Catholic Central because I like the way Johnson runs the football returning kickoff. For first time in the playoffs, they shut out five of their ten opponents, giving up 21 here tonight. And Wolf and company got to hit it in the fast forward here. They want to get back in this ball game. Yeah, they need to score big time. They don't throw the ball a lot, and that's what happens now as you fall beyond by two touchdowns. He's being tracked. It spins out of it. Looking downfield, he'll take off. Nowhere to go, and he's taken down right at the line of scrimmage. Romano right there again on it. Wolf's getting tired of getting hit. So as the defenders, especially Romano, were coming up, he sort of just went down. I'm taking too many hits. Uh, he's probably been back to pass more tonight than he's been all season. Absolutely. Well, that's what happens. I mean, if you don't have a balanced attack and all you do is one thing and you do that all the time, well, when you find out you fall behind against somebody and all you want to do is run, guess what? Children inning, three-man front, four-man front. This time, three-man front. Wolf with an empty backfield. And a five-man front. The Crusaders with a four-man front. Here they come. He throws out in the flat and the pass is caught. Another dangerous one. Caught by Barton. Barton will take it out. Actually, he flipped over the defender and got out to the 30-yard line. Well, it doesn't make the tackle. It could have been dangerous, but he was able to slow him up for a pickup of only three on the flip in the flat. Very surprising on the home field. Meanwhile, third down and six. And Wolf back to throw. Looking lefty. Now he's looking to run. Now he backs out of it and gets away from a defender. Rolling to the near side. Throws on the run. Got a man caught. 40-yard line and a first down. It's deep. Uh-oh. He's taken out of bounds. And then a late hit. That's and that play. really is just a not very intelligent play when you're trying to get back in this ball game. The gain out to the 46-yard line of 16. Great job by Wolf of scrambling, scrambling, and giving his receivers time to spring open. And he finally spotted the receiver here on the, the near side. What? Dean? That's the, there you go. The official first sentence against Catholic Central was in changed it when he realized that, that he had uh, said it wrong. Well, he just again pointed to Racine. Yeah, it's against Racine. It is? Yeah, he had a crusader in the back right here after the play was over. Oh, I thought he threw the flag right uh, here on the hit out of bounds. So the, they got him out to the 47-yard line on a 17-yard. On a late hit out of bounds? It was a late hit over here. The guy from Racine well, came up behind and shoved the crusader in the back. But, but there was one here on the guy that received yeah. the ball, I thought, they, too. No, they didn't call that. So it should be first and 10 out of the 32-yard line. Because he got knocked out of bounds at the 47, and after the play was over, then he gets hit with the penalty. Should take it back from the 47 back to the 32, and you should start with a first down from the 32. Well, I'm not an official. I don't know the rules, but I think you're right, and they're going to move the chains. There we go. Penalty number seven for 60 yards I've got for the tornado. And first down number seven. All right. So 9-13. They're back at the 32-yard line. First down and 10. Wolf from the shotgun with a man in motion. Now reverse field, and Wolf back to throw, rolling to the left side. Throws on the run, got a man caught, and Fallon's there to grab him, wrap him up, take him down to 35 yards. Fallon's been all over the place from his linebacker position, from blitzing and getting two sacks in the second quarter to covering out in the flat and making the last two tackles over on the far side. 
he has been a valuable player along with recovering a fumble that set up the third Crusader score. Nine out of 14 now for 88 yards for Wolf. Johnson's 0 for 1. And it'll bring up second down and seven out of the 35-yard line. 8.35 o'clock turning, 21-7 Catholic Central. Wolf and company taking a lot of time. This drive started at the 11-minute mark and haven't gone very far. Flips coming. He picks it up. Got a man wide open. Dean, 35-40 yard line. has a first down out to the 45 and taken down at the 47-yard line of the Crusaders in a game of 12. Good call by Wolf. Central had a four-man line with two inside backers blitzing. Quick flip out in the flat. One-on-one over there. And the first on gain after the 15-yard penalty. 8.22 to go in the fourth quarter. 21-7 Central. Timeout. Christine will be back. All provided in a safe environment supported by strong Catholic values. Give your child a foundation that stands the test of time. A Catholic school education. Call Steubenville Catholic Central High School for admission details. Wolf under pressure, being tracked by Fallon. Fallon coming back and grabs it. He drops the football. It's loose at the 45-yard line. Picked up by Murphy. And he'll take it to the 40, maybe to the 39-yard line. So the turnover city visits. We're seeing Southern again, and the Crusaders have the ball at the 39. I mentioned earlier, Wolf taking a lot of hits. He plays both ways. He's been scrambling, scrambling, and scrambling, making big plays. Had another good look and play until he fumbled, and the Crusaders again taking advantage of a turnover. That's the third by Racine. Second fumble loss and one pass interception. So Crusaders can punch one in here. This will be it. 21 to 7 with 809 left to go. Call Bella with Potenzini in the backfield, joined by Fletcher. On first down at the 39-yard line. They'll hand off, and this is blown dead, and the Crusaders going to be called for illegal procedure. 21 to 12. So first down, 15 for the Crusaders. Blitz coming by Dean. They hand off to Potentini right side. They wrap him up. Barton and several others will take him at the 45, and he will lose a yard. Second carry for Luke now for five yards. Surprising the Crusaders got over 170 yards on the ground, but only about 63 in the air. Normally they're fairly balanced. They've been running out of this power pistol for the most part here in the second half, and the inside running game has been excellent. Second down at about 16. Seven and a half to go. Colabella back to throw. He's looking downfield. Got for Rica. He's wide open. And he makes the catch at the 10 to the 5. And he will score. Touchdown. Alex Farika from Brenton Colabella. Marked off at 45 yards. The 28th touchdown pass of the season for Brenton. And for Alex Farika, hauls in touchdown number three on the year. That time, play action, good protection. A go pattern by Perica. He had the defender by a couple of yards. It was a perfect thrown football. All Perica had to do was run under it, and it was an easy six, and boy, I like that. Yep, only a 41-second drive for the Crusaders as Jean-Paul McNamara sets to kick it away, and a kick is up, and a kick is good. 28-7, to Stumaville Catholic Central. We'll be back in 30 seconds. 7.28 left to go here in the fourth quarter. Alex Perica hauls in a 45-yard touchdown pass from Brenton Colabella. McNamara adds the extra point, 28-7 for the Crusaders. And for Brenton Colabella now, John, he has completed 12 out of 17 for 108 yards and two scores. And Alex Perica having a great night. Four catches, 65 yards, and a touchdown. Well, that was his best throw of the night, Colabella. Again, he starts with good protection after play action. And an excellent throw. Line drive kick. It'll be wrapped up at the 20-yard line, up to the 25, and then going sideways to the 30-yard line, still on his feet, finally being tackled outside there. Number 25, Jalen Banks. A fresh Yeah, he's a fresh. 5'9", 138 gets some action. <laughs> Want to say hi to our friends down at Spuds Parkview Inn tonight, John. Or that, and your, your old buddy, Doc Skirty. I'll, I'll say something Doc's about him. one of our sponsors tonight. I'll say something about him in a second. I hope it's good. First down, and at the 35-yard line. As Tristan Wolf from the shotgun with a single back. 
needs to make up a lot of ground in a lot of time, and that's not going to do it. Pass out in a flat caught by 32. That takes out to the 39-yard line. That's Colton Waters who caught the touchdown pass earlier, and he will gain four out to the 39. Anyway, I had to go to Doc Skirty's the other day because I'm getting some cataract surgery in early December, and he's got to clear me for surgery. And and uh, I was telling this nurse practitioner, Mal- Mallory, uh, <laughs> so, Doc, thanks a lot, Mal. We'll see you in about a month. Second down and six from the shotgun. And back to throw goes Wolf. Wolf stepping, jitterbugging, moving, getting nervous, rolling down to the left side, throws on a run. It's a high floater, and a pass goes into the stand. Nice catch by that guy out there in the black hop. Yeah, but he doesn't get to keep the football, though. Five to go here in the fourth quarter. Big Daddy patted me on the back, and he said, that, that's his fault. <laughs> <laughs> Third down and long. <laughs> Back to throw is Wolf. Wolf, the lefty rolling now. Looking, stepping up, he'll take off. 35 yard line, 40. Trying to make a move to the outside. He's drugged down to 33. Nice shot by 32, who you mentioned earlier, the Fever, who comes in at a linebacker slash cornerback position. Five yard pickup for Wolf. They got to go for it. On fourth down at a yard. They need to get to the 45. Wolf with 12 carries and 25 yards now. 28-7 Crusaders, the bomb from Colabella, the Perica after the turnover, has given the Crusaders a lot of breathing room. Fourth and one as we go under six minutes. Twins left and right, and Wolf. Got to give it to Barton, doesn't he? The fever trying to here he comes on the blitz. Look out. They pick him up. He throws it out there, and the pass is caught. Looking for some running room. His team, he got it. 50, 45, 40 to the 35-yard line, and finally Murphy corrals him at the 32-yard line. They make the tackle. Initially, it's no first down because he was still in the backfield over there on that quick flat pass. But he avoided the first tackler, made the monster gain out of it, and they're down at the Catholic Central 32. 24-yard pickup. Team on the backfield has caught five passes for 70 yards, and now Wolf is 12 out of 18 for 128. So it's first down and 10, the eighth first down, six to the half. And Wolf crossed the middle, passes tipped up and intercepted by Fletcher. One hit and grabs the 20 yard line. He got, Fletcher got some blockers out there. He got one man to beat if he can do it. Gets the block, cuts inside, 50 yard line. But at 45, he drops the football and then he recovers his own fumble at the 41 yard line. Tony Barber gave him the block, but I was surprised that Fletcher went inside rather than continue on the sideline. He might have took it to the house. But anyway, the Crusaders forcing turnover number four. four. 507 left to go in the ball game. Bring up the date. Number one Alabama leads LSU 10 to 7 in their ball game. Colabella will hand off, looking for some room as Fletcher as he just quietly comes behind his lineman and just kind of inches forward and then falls forward to the 39. He picked up a couple. All they gotta do is stay in bounds. 44 yards now and five carries for Fletcher. The Raiders have started inside of the uh, Southern Territory four times. In the first three, they scored twice. Short fields are easy to score from. Second down and nine. Crusaders in no hurry. Play clock at 17. On second down and nine at the 39. Blitz coming up the middle. They get the head of it. Oh. It's, it's free. Football is loose. Finally recovered by Murphy all the way back inside the 50 at the 49-yard line. As Dean came through there to cause havoc and cause the fumble, they will lose 12 yards on the play. Their kicker is hurt. It hurts them on the extra points. We saw him get hurt last week against Bel Air. Colabella back to throw, going up top, looking for Perica. He's out there in the passing to Carl Antonio, but he can't come up with it. It's incomplete inside the third. Second here in the second half. Crusaders by 21 with three and a half to go, and they will advance to play number one seed, Goster Trimble, who plays in the same league with. Racine Southern, in fact, Trimble defeated them in week nine, 42-14. High snap, Colabella gets it, popped it up as he saw the defender come and he rushed the kick, but he got it away. It'll take a Crusader bounce inside the 30-yard line, and it'll roll, uh, really not going to pick that up, are you, at the 25. Malvern's been a good team for a number of years, always had good teams. Timeout going to be called by Racine Southern. 3.27 left to go, 28-7. We'll be back in 60 seconds as they have it at the their own 25. Rolling out to the far side, throws on the run. The pass is almost caught, but incomplete out of the 43. 
Wolf's put the ball in the air 20 times now tonight. He is connected on 12 of those for 128 yards. However, he's been picked off a couple of times, and as the touchdown reception, touchdown pass, actually. Probably has thrown it twice as many times as he has in any other previous game. Central this time in the three-man front. They have blitzed the two outside backers. They've only rushed for 62 yards tonight. Back to throw is Wolf being pressured by Luke Bowden. Zinni pump takes, rolls down the left side, thumps it off out there, and they got a man caught up there and then it dropped it out at the 43-yard line. Yeah, the first second, but couldn't come down with it. Wolf on the run, but running to his strong side as he's a lefty running to the left hash mark. Had a nice little touch on the football. Over the defender, just a little too far for the receiver. Marion Local lead at Fort Laramie, Laramie, 56 to 14 in the third. They are probably the best Division 7 yep. team in the state. Marion and Local. St. John leading 37 to 18. Delphi St. John's with a 6 and 4 mark. Remember when they played the Crusaders right. in the championship game? Always a good program. Back in 06, they shut them out 28 nothing. Blitz coming from a fever. Wolf rolls out of it, looking to throw. Throws it out there, and the pass is incomplete. The only guy out there was Alex Perico. Three straight misfires now for Wolf. It'll bring up fourth down and ten. As I recollect, uh, Jack, I'm pretty sure Marion State Local is in the same conference with Delphi St. John's, along with Coldwater. And a few other teams. That's a very good conference. That's Division Four, then, because Coldwater leads 42 to 16 in Division Four. But, but Coldwater is in that conference. I think they're Division Five, whatever. But it's a, it's a very good conference. Fourth down and ten. They'll have to go for it with 307 left. Got to give uh, the scene a lot of credit. Yeah. They've hung in there. Oh, it was 14-7, and they were driving for the tying touchdown. Back to throw is Wolf taking off. Look, he's got to throw the ball for first down. Throws it up there, and that's going to be incomplete. And into the fourth row of the stands, and a bunch of kids will get it. And Fallon hammers him down as he was throwing the football and then showed excellent sportsmanship as he helped him up. Crusader defense too much since the opening drive when Racine took a 7 nothing lead with two pass completions, the big one of over 40, and then the eight-yard TD pass. So it's fourth down, and the Crusaders will have it now at the 25-yard line. And all they got to do is run this clock. We've seen Southern has one timeout remaining, and I don't think they're going to take it down by three scores. Yeah, Catholic Central's using this power pistol for a majority of the second half. It's been good for them. And they'll pitch left to Fletcher. Fletcher looking for some space, 25-20 to the 15, and he steps out of bounds. And Ryan Fletcher will have a first down as he steps out of the 13-yard line and again as well. Shaders have been going inside, inside, inside here in the second half from that power pistol. This time, the toss sweep. Nobody there for the first 10 yards. Oh, Martin Sperry scored out at the 21-18, but Westfall answers with 9.48 left. They score, make it 28-18. Third time in a row, the Crusaders have started in tornado territory. At the 13-yard line, they'll hand off to Khalil Jones going to the right side, cuts back inside to the 10, to the 5. Khalil Jones slicing his way, and he will score. He smelled the end zone. He got a little bump at about the one-yard line or so, bounced off of it and takes it in for six, and it's 34-7, to seven, Catholic Central on top. Khalil Jones, a 13-yard run, puts him over 100 now. 11 carries, 109, and two scores. A couple guys were asking me downtown as I did some uh, research on Racine Southern, and I, I told them I thought the Crusaders, who, who have not played well for a game and a half, would come out firing and win by at least three touchdowns. I was right for a change. Back to Mara for the extra point. The snap is down, the placement, and the kick is up, and it is good. 35-6, to six, Catholic Central, 2.46 to go. We'll be back in 30 seconds. His 15th of the season, Matt Mara's extra point is good, and the Crusaders lead it 35-7 to seven with 2.46 to go. Catholic Central has scored three times in their last four possessions, a long drive of 72, but then a 39-yard drive in three, and now a 25-yard drive in two. When you got the short field, it makes it a lot easier to put points on the board. Central's only had the ball, John, for three minutes and 35 seconds in this fourth quarter. Yeah, because they've struck, struck, and struck quickly. 
three scores here in the fourth quarter. It was a 14-7 lead at the half. As the kick is another line shot. Whoa. Nice catch at the 20-yard line, up over the 30-yard line, 35 to the 40. And finally drug down at the 42-yard line. That's number four, Paul Rathman. And it'll be first down for the Tornadoes. Looks like Paul is a good baseball player because that was a hot line drive that he was able to field nicely. See if the Crusaders change some people defensively as they lead 35-7 with 2.40 to go in the contest. First down and 10 for the Tornadoes. Big fullback Billingsley will check out of the lineup. On first down and 10, Wolf will go under center. Deem and Barton in the backfield. Deem's done a nice job catching the ball out of the backfield. And no hand off the Barton right side. Comes the way back into the middle to the 45 and knocked down at the 48-yard line. Again, a six. Hard run by Barton, one of his better ones of the night. The defensive play by linebacker Romano. Give him about five. Romano, and on the stop. But the Crusaders will advance 9-2. I think Rasheen has called a timeout. 2.20 to go in the fourth. 35-7 Crusaders back after this. Timeout, Southern. Every product and service you need to succeed. First Choice America, just like a bank, only better. Federally insured by NCUA. Membership eligibility required. A lot of new Crusaders in there. Second down and about four. Likewise, a lot of new players for Racine. And we got a new quarterback as he'll pitch back, looking for some space out to the 45-yard line, to the 50 and turn the corner, got a first down. That's number 25, Jalen Blanks. And John Fallon pushes him out of bounds, the 5'7 sophomore. Be in there, Stephen Marcinko or Marcino. Yep, 11 yard pickup for Banks and a first down. The ninth first down for the 10th first down actually for the Tornadoes. They'll have it at the Crusader 41 yard line. 212 left to go. And they'll pitch right to Blanks. Blanks trying to get outside. Blanks. To the 45, Blanks to the 40-yard line. It's the 35 and taken out of bounds. And my neighbor's boy just made the tackle. 37 yards. Brody Mahalio. The new quarterback is number nine. That is Blake Johnson. Nate Neely is in the defensive line for Catholic Central. Two of those linebackers are 35. Cedro Parisi at one of the backers. At the 37-yard line, second down and five. As Johnson will hand off to his fullback, he'll take it down close to the 30-yard line. And the fullback is number 35 that I don't have a 35. 63 makes the stop, Jacob Gordon. A couple more guys coming in, 59 for Catholic Central, Tommy Mort. Five-yard pickup on a play, third down, less than one now for him. Bradley Berkey's in at a defensive end. Minute 40 in the clock turning. 35 to 7. Crusaders on top. Oh, improved to 9 and 2. We're seeing Southern will drop out at 8 and 3. Daniel Harris is at a linebacker. Blake Johnson goes back to throw on third and short. Rolling left. Looking pump fake in trouble and gets grabbed. Take it down. For the Crusaders number 75. Yeah. Cam Lupinetti. Cam Lupinetti. him up. Good job by Cam. Loss of three on the play back to the 35. <laughs> We're down to a minute and 10. Crusaders 35-7 advancing to the regional semifinal at a spot to be named, maybe Zanesville, uh, Cambridge, someplace. Probably. Next Saturday evening. Fourth down 
at about four. Clock under a minute to go. Blake Johnson will hand off, looking for some space, and down near the 31-yard line, and it could be a first down for Blanks. And they'll give him the first down. Pick up a four for Blanks. Third carry, 19 yards, and pick up first down number 11. Crusaders with 14 first downs. Machine trying to get on the board. They scored first early in the game at the 724 mark. Twins left and right. Johnson from the shotgun. 33 seconds of the clock turning. High snap. Pulls it in. Looking. Throwing a crop up top. It's a floater. It's out there. And the pass is tipped away. Oh, almost intercepted by Johnny Mallon. Oh, as follows to the turf. Second down. Pass number 25 for yep. Machine Jacks. That's a lot for them to throw. 12 completions. So second down and 10 with 26.4 to go. On the scoreboard showing some of the Crusader highlights. We'll be picking our IBEW, electrifying play of the game, coming up after the ball game is over. Second down as Blake Johnson goes from the shotgun, looking, looking, firing up top. The man out there, but he turned wrong. Oh. The pass almost intercepted. And it falls to the turf incomplete. Vinny DiCarlo almost came up with the INT. I wonder if that's Johnny D's younger brother. I gotta believe it. What was that movie? My cousin Vinny. Cousin Vinny. It all came down to tire tracks. Tire tracks. <laughs> Third down and ten with 21 fun seconds to go. Fun when you're winning, isn't it? <laughs> it's always fun. It was fun last night at press boxes. It got eerily quiet after Bigger took the lead. Uh, I bet you they loved you talking about the officials yeah. in that press box. Third down and ten. Blake Johnson under pressure dumps it off and it's incomplete. Blake Johnson, he's the backup quarterback. He's over four. 16 seconds remaining on fourth down. This could be the last play for the scene unless they get a first down. Then they'll try to score, but Catholic Central would get the ball and kneel on it. Oh, it looks like we started to come out of the game, but he's in there, quarterback, on fourth and ten at the 31-yard line. Twins left and right, single back. Blanks in the backfield on fourth down. Johnson will throw it out. And Good job. Gets up in the air and knocked away, and that'll do it. That was outside linebacker Daniel Harris coming on a blitz, and he did what you're supposed to do when you can't get to the QB. Throw those big paws up. He almost came up with the intercept. <laughs> so the Crusaders next Saturday to say to be determined against Gloucester Trimble, the number one seed in this Division Seven. Region 25 as Bellsville was getting hammered at Gloucester tonight. Martin Ferry not giving up. Seven minutes left to go in that game. 28-24 Westfall. And they'll take a knee. Crusader quarterback was Robbie Lefebvre. That'll do it. That'll score. 35-7. Robbie Lefebvre gets in the ball game and gets to take a one third loss. That's just not justice, right? Crusaders win it 35 to 7. They advance to the second round of the Ohio Division 7 playoffs. We're at Madonna and Magnolia to win in convincing fashion tonight by four touchdowns. Let's step aside. We'll be back with more, including your post game and stats after these messages. Thank you. 